the um, S3 online learning community um, as a way for us to stay connected with what's going on out there in the world, but also for other people to stay connected with us and with the developments uh, that are happening with S3. I want to show you first how the platform looks inside. Okay, so just a very brief run through. We're using Mighty Networks for um, hosting our community and it looks like this. So uh, when you land, you land on the home page and you see kind of a feed of activity. Um, and the, the, all the content is structured by topics. And then you, when you go in, you see all the articles and posts related to that topic. So we are now in the lobby. This part will be public from December on. And then you have groups. At the moment, we have the pioneers group. And what is that's kind of all the activity that's happening in there is confidential for everybody. And we have resources. So all the events we have are recorded and are posted in, in this uh, section. And uh, we have video and audio recording. And we also have timestamps that says, OK, this time we covered this topic. Um, and we also have events related to this um, um, particular group and topics also that are unique for these groups. So this is actually how it looks like inside very, very roughly. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, we're a bit limited on what we can show you because we do offer confidentiality within the groups. We want to create an environment where people feel comfortable to share and safe to share things. Mm -hmm. uh, there's, we've got quite a clear confidentiality agreement around that as well. Um, and just to say on that, in, we will have the lobby in December, which is like a public forum uh, and that's free to join. Uh, but we'll also have a private room connected to that so that those conversations can happen because people really need to talk sometimes about things that are happening in their workplace or you know, case examples. And within the bounds of other pre-existing confidentiality agreements, we're finding that people really appreciate that space where they can share with others without that being exposed to the whole world. Yeah. So everything you see in... in purple was the what we call the lobby and is the the, the pub public space from december and everything else uh, belongs to um, groups so what happens in december is that we're going to open up the lobby for it being public and we are going to have two groups one is the what we call the practitioners lounge which is kind of it's, it's exactly what you saw as uh, the, currently the pioneers. It's going to be a renaming. Um, and um, there is going to be a new group called Pro Lounge. And I'm, I'm going to go through you know, each of these two groups to tell you what's going to happen in each one of them. But before that, I want to just make explicit that this is these groups that I was talking about, they're not actually a training program. So one, I want to make that explicit. So the content and the events we're doing are meant to complement, but not replace the knowledge and understanding and the skills you, you gain through actually attending a course or, or a workshop with us or with other people. Um, and um, saying this, we do... Um, we are considering uh, ways in which we can connect the e-learning we're developing with the community so that people can access learning and, um, uh, through that. So I'm going to say about that later on as well. So the practitioner's lounge. So this is the first one I want to talk about. It. And this is useful if you started in some way experimenting with S3 and maybe you experienced some successes or bumped into some challenges and you, you realize, okay, I, I probably would benefit from some support, some kind of connection with others that are doing the same. And part of the practitioner's lounge is basically a, we have a clear structure that is based on monthly themes. So for example, this month theme is called embracing success and failures. And that kind of informs us in terms of all the content and all the topics we choose for the events during that month. And uh, we have um, once per month, 
we will have a community meetup. So then it's really focused on you guys exchanging with each other about what you're learning and connecting and so on. Um, then uh, we will have two Q&A sessions per month. So you can just kind of rock up and uh, bring your question or submit them in advance and they're kind of clustered and prioritized and so on. And uh, we have one learning session per month. So this is related to deepening learning, but it's not so much about like teaching a specific pattern or you know, uh, facilitating a um, decision-making process or whatever. It's more about bringing patterns together, is about explore, exploring certain perspectives. Um, yeah, so it's, it's more in relation to, to that. We are also planning to, let's say, go deeper into a certain pattern, like for example, you know, role selection, when people use it, what are variations of it and so on, but not the teaching in itself, okay? We also have assignments. We're gonna have one assignment per month. It's basically a chance for you to put in practice something explicit, like a, let's say a controlled experiment where you come and report back your learning and, and you get kind of feedback from, from others about it and so on. And uh, of course, a lot of the interaction is simply by posting or reading and interacting with um, articles and polls and questions. There, is the, there are the recordings that I showed you about that are available. You will also have access to all the recordings that have been made so far in the Pioneers group. And um, yeah, there's going to be a growing library of resources that you can access. Mm -hmm. And just to say on that, so the lobby, well, we have the, the Creative Commons license for S3 and we want to share as much as possible learning resources under that license in the world. Um, and at the same time, there's a lot of content that's generated specifically within the groups that relates specifically to the group. And people comment on those resources also sometimes around things that might be sensitive in the, in the public lobby. Um, so you'll find some resources in the lobby and then many more resources within the groups. Mm -hmm. So this, the practitioner uh, plan is available for annual and or uh, monthly subscription. And for those who choose annual subscription, uh, we will um, include the S3 Foundations course in that uh, offer. So that means that early next year, when we will have that ready, you will get free access to it. Um, and the practitioner uh, plan is 29 euros per month. Um, so you can choose whether it's monthly or annually. You can cancel at any point. And also for the yearly subscription, you can request a refund. We will kind of retain the sum that belongs to the price of the course from it, but you can basically get any months that you haven't used back. And we have a supporter version. So there were in different occasions, people asking us, how can we contribute? You know, how can, can I give back to, to S3 and to the work that you're doing? So um, there wasn't, I mean, there was what our answer was always, well, just share about it with the world because that's important. So, and I think it's still this answer and another way of doing it, particularly if you want to support us with this community project, which is quite uh, an investment of time, of our time and, also um, an investment into the future, right? Um, yeah, we, we would be grateful for, for your extra support. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's been between one and a half and two people full time so far to set this community up for the last two or three months. Mm -hmm. Surprisingly to us as much as to anybody else. Exactly, yeah. yeah. And, but uh, um, I want to add one thing because there, Beside, if you want to contribute more, you're super welcome to. But also, if this price is beyond your means, then you, we welcome you to be in touch with us. Um, because I know, you know, maybe for West Europe, this is not much. Uh, but all, depending on the circumstance you have personally, or the part of the world you are in, uh, or a combination of those th two things, this might be still quite a lot of money. So we do want that cost is not actually an up, up obstacle for, for you to be able to join us. Mm -hmm. So we want people to contribute what they can afford, including up as well as down. 
Yeah. Yeah. Great. That's it about the practitioner plan. So me? Yeah. Okay. So then the last thing to share with you about before we open up for reflections and questions is the pro lounge. And if I look excited about that, it's because I am. Um, but I want to preface it with a little story and background. Um, so many of you know about Learn S3 and Learn S3 was our part of our strategy to respond to a really important driver connected to S3. And that was ensuring the preservation of quality and integrity in the transmission of S3 as more and more people become interested in it and it spreads around the world. Traditionally, uh, organizations that wish to try and respond to a driver like that in the context of some kind of content would license it, for example. They would have certification programs. They would have a centralized team of trainers who would teach and deliver, and only they could teach and deliver. We never wanted any of those things with S3, not because they don't have value. They respond to really important drivers, but because we believe, believe, still believe, that it's possible to preserve quality and integrity in other ways. Um, so taking the best of certification programs, taking the best of a dedicated team of people who are committed to delivering high quality learning interventions and so on, um, but in a way that's more fluid and organic and also doesn't create restrictions for anybody to take S3 and share it with others in whatever way they choose as well. Um, I like the metaphor of the village because if you live in a village, if any of you have lived in a village, you don't get away with much, right? Because everybody knows everybody else's business. Everybody knows what's going on. And people are communicating regularly and they're interacting and they're dealing with issues that come up and they're sharing learning basically, you know? So over time, every member of the village is contributing to the evolution of the whole. And so this is very much in my mind and heart. Um, and with Learn S3, we intended to respond to two drivers. One was to bring together the, or two sub drivers. One was to create a place where people could access learning resources about S3 besides just the essential resources on the S3 website. And the other one was where people could find others who could help them to learn about and get the best out of S3. And we endeavored to do that with a group of people whom we personally invited, who were very active in teaching S3 already or wanting to teach S3 and working closely with them. And the problem with that model was for Lily and I, it just wasn't sustainable over time because it required us investing a lot of time and energy into supporting these people to develop and learn, and then stepping aside as they took on delivery of programs in different regions around the world, and we would go somewhere else and begin again. And financially, that was challenging for us, you know, as an as a economic model that would be sustainable over time. But the other thing was that um, we naturally attracted people who were very passionate about S3, saw the potential, we're often already professionally involved in the world, helping people in organizations to develop and who were quite entrepreneurial and focused on growing their kind of brand within whichever region of the world this was. And this was a blind spot for us because we wanted to grow Learn S3 as a healthily competing element in the case in future as other organizations, individuals and organizations saw the potential to commoditize S3 and help others learn, we would have Learn S3 as a go-to place where there's a commitment among those teachers to learn from each other, to stay in contact, to stay up to date and share learning together. Um, and so we, we kind of walked into this uh, slight like paradoxical situation where that created a conflict of interest for the people we invited to collaborate with. Um, so our wish that we would have a growing team of people investing into developing Learn S3 didn't materialize in practice because those people were also busy investing in developing their own, um, their own uh, brands um, and their own kind of market within whatever region they were in. So this month in the community, the theme is success and failure. And the last months we've been coming to terms with a failure from one perspective in terms of what we thought we could achieve with Learn S3. Um, but the interesting thing about failure is, is like, when is a failure a failure? <laughs> Can a failure be a success? 
And when we're dealing with complexity, every experience brings the opportunity for learning. And this is so fundamental to ESRI as well. And so part of our learning, and it's been a long journey of learning, um, because probably because of some attachments as well to things being the way we thought they should, is this realization that Learn S3, as we conceived it, was an inadequate strategy to respond to that driver of preserving quality and integrity. Um, so with the upcoming e-learning, we're basically documenting our experience and learning over the last six years in a manner that's more practical. You've got the unpractical practical guide, which is more or less practical, but we see the potential with this e-learning to be much more kind of thorough uh, and uh, clear for people actually in understanding some basics about S3. But then the other side of it is so many people are out there, many of you said at the start of this call about your passion and your work in spreading S3 with others. So how do we learn and grow together? How do we ensure that people who are teaching out there in the world are connected to others, are staying up to date, are bringing their challenges, are testing hypotheses with others and so on to keep systems open and, and learn together. And so the Pro Lounge is our answer to that question. And what excites me so much about it is, whereas with Learn S3, we were bottlenecked by the number of people we could actually find the time to support, with the Pro Lounge, it enables anyone who wants to, to be out there spreading S3, as they will do anyway, uh, but a kind of a, a, a centralized place where they can be plugged in, connected to others, sharing resources, and just in a, in a reciprocal relationship with others who are teaching about S3. And we can keep that relationship going with so many more people. And when we utter something once to one person, the thing we've learned most with the community is that by recording these things and by documenting them, then other people can access them into the future too. So this is really what the Pro Lounge is about. It's for anybody who is or is passionate about helping others to learn about S3 and sees the value of being plugged into a community like that. Um, <clears throat> so in the Pro Lounge, access to the practitioner lounge is included, obviously, so everything that Lily was sharing before. Um, so besides that though, the key, or one of the key added deliverables is this uh, supervision and facilitated intervision sessions. Just, uh, I, need, I need two minutes, okay, I'll be back. Sure, okay. Um, yeah, these, so facilitated supervision and intervision sessions. When we run the Q&A sessions in the practitioner lounge, the general approach is that people submit their questions in advance we'll hear a question. And then if I'm facilitating, usually I'll invite others to share answers they have first. And then that follows with me coming in at the end if I have something that might be worthwhile to add. So we're kind of harnessing the distributed intelligence within the group and synergizing that to answer the questions that come alive. Besides the, uh, the training work that I've done in the past, I've spent quite a lot of time working with individuals offering like hour long calls and supervision sessions and, and mentoring. Um, so we see the need for that. And our, it's so frustrating once again to have a call like that with a couple of people who are helping others learn about S3. It's confidential and then it can't be shared anywhere else. So these supervision and intervision sessions are a way to bring those like uh, supervision calls into the pro community record them afterwards so that they can be documented and shared with others that are in the, in the pro lounge. So we say on-demand support, there's a limit to what we can achieve in terms of on-demand, but our intention is to have up to three sessions per month where we're really getting into those uh, drivers that are coming up for you if you're working professionally out there with organizations around S3 and documenting that so that other people in the lounge can, can benefit from it too. We're also going to have a meetup every month for the pros. Um, once again, focused around building the community, but also looking at the personal development side, um, because as many of you have probably come to realize, learning about X S3 itself is only part of the journey. It's also about becoming the change we want to see in the world um, and confronting the challenges of our habitual ways of doing things and looking at how we evolve that. 
So creating an environment where we can be learning together in that way too. And finally, um, a big part of helping S3 spread in the world is taking the time to give back, to share with others and, and contribute what you're learning. Um, not just for an economic return, but just for a sense of fulfillment and meaning in life. So we're inviting some reciprocity from members of the Pro Lounge, um, and especially in the context of the wider community, to be present and available, showing up to answer questions people might have in the different forums and so on. Um, and also we're inviting pros to contribute, to contribute uh, one session a year that they can create and set up and design in whatever way they choose to offer that into the community as well as a way to enrich the opportunities for people in the community, but also as a way for them to get feedback in a safe to fail environment as well so that they can experiment and learn. Um, and in terms of the practical thing around pricing for the Pro Lounge, at this point, we're, we're setting a price of 59 euros a month. Again, there's a supporter version or getting in touch if that's beyond your means. I'm thinking of my friend and colleague from India for whom this is an extraordinary sum of money relative to what it is for others of us. Um, and we're setting a pro this price for now with the possibility that that would increase in time. But we acknowledge that an established community has an enormous volume of resources available. And right now we are reliant upon ourselves and also on the members of the, the existing community to create those resources. Um, so we're also grateful and acknowledging the limitations of what's available now compared to what might be possible in the future. Mm -hmm. Yes, and I, I do want to say uh, before you move on that whilst the practitioner plan anybody can just straight away purchase, we have an application process for the pro plan. It's really a simple form we've put together because we do want to, uh, in the first is instance, um, keep the, the group um, smaller. Uh, we're having in mind around 50 people, and we do want to select people on the basis of their experience and their, the context, particular context that they are in. No. I think it's the most possible. important determina determining factor is you see that participating in the pro lounge would be of value to you in the work that you're doing out there in the world. That for me is the most important thing. If you can show up and help yeah. to explain that to us, then that's exactly what we want to be supporting right now. And that's precisely what the pro, pro lounge is set up for. So. Okay. So that's our presentation. So we're going to hand over to you. This is a chance for reflections, questions, feedback, feedback that you have. Mm -hmm.